All right, so today we're going to talk about videos and playback in free show. And I've noticed a couple of things, and I want to also give a couple of updates with the 1.3.9 up, uh, update as well. And so first things first, what videos play best in free show? Um, from my experience, um, I'm going to drag down some files here. The best files that play back in free show are MP4 when it comes to video files. Uh, MOV files seem to cause the program to stutter. And then the codec, uh, it's about the same, but I would recommend the H.265 codec because they're going to be significantly smaller. So this uh, this is a almost 11-minute video, and it is MP4. I, I put these labels on there, so don't worry about that. But the .MP4, the last part, is the most important aspect of this. I put this on there so I can actually read it in free show as an MP4. Uh, and then uh, in terms of seeing it. And so the H.265 is a, a high efficiency uh, codec. And then the H.264 um, is not the high efficiency. So this H.264 format or codec is 640 megabits for the same file. Almost 11 minutes, so 1054. And then this one's the HEVC is 387 megabytes. And it is same length, same video. Um, and so I would recommend HEVC or H.265 codec for MP4 videos, all right, if you're going to be using Freeshow, as they seem to work much more efficiently uh, than MOV files uh, of any type. So if it's an MOV uh, formatted uh, video, it doesn't play well with Freeshow in terms of it'll start to freeze up. It'll lag behind, at least on an Apple computer. Uh, I experienced this. And then also, whether it's H.264 or H.265. And so keep that in mind. If you do get videos um, from guests or anything like that, um, you, I would recommend you do your best to convert that video to being an MP4 versus an MOV. And then you can save space by making it, making it an H.265 uh, codec export. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, as for the update in Freeshow, let's pull this out the way. A cool thing that they've done in Freeshow is they've given you the option. So here's all my video files here, those same ones we just saw. So this is uh, just an a MOV file. This is a this is an MOV H.265. This is an MOV H.264. And then these are my MP4 files. So I'm using MP4, and I'll try if I remember to show you what the MOV do uh, when you try to use those. But if you notice, there's this distinction on these files with this little microphone sound icon next to them and what that represents is something unique and i'm going to mute this so it doesn't play out loud but if you were to um have scriptures on your screen okay so i got scriptures going and they're there right and you were to play a video so i'm going to play this mp4 Typically, what will happen is it'll play in the background. As you can see there, it's kind of vague, but there's a video playing in the background, and there's this transparent box, uh, translucent box behind the scriptures um, on this particular format. So there's a video playing there, all right? And that is the typical style. So I'm going to make that video go away. I'm going to stop that or clear out the background. If you were to right-click on this same video and select Edit, there's a new option uh, called type when it comes to your media. If you select that, it has a default option, a background option, and a foreground option. The default uh, for videos that you actually have the full file for, it. not online, but for videos that you have the file uh, on your computer or a hard drive connected to your computer, the default is background. You can change that to be foreground, all right? So this is that same video, so I'm going to close that out. Or go back into my show, go back to my media, and now you'll notice that same black icon. It looks like a little speaker. When I click on this video now, so we got our scriptures here. When I click on the video now, watch what happens to the scriptures. They completely go away, and all you have is the background, and the video is just playing over the top of everything, and it actually clears out your slides is a part of the update. And so this is a very important feature if you want to play a video um, in the past, what would happen is you would have to do multiple things at once, whether it was through an action or manually, you would need to clear out your slides and then play the video. Now you can go straight from your scriptures and 
select a video and it'll automatically clear out the slides as long as you have that video selected as a foreground video. Now, the cool thing about this is you can still put slides over the top. So this is the foreground video playing right here. But if I wanted to put a scripture in there, I can select the slide and it'll play over the top of it just like it was earlier. But when you select the video up front, it will clear it out. OK, so I can clear this video out and I've got the slide there playing or showing. When I click this video, it automatically clears out the slide. So there's no slide playing and it'll automatically put that video in. However, if I were to let me clear this out, we'll clear that out. If I were to go back to this video and I'll right click on it, go to edit and I'll make the type be background. All right. Go back to my show and my media. You'll see here it's got an a option that the, the actual speaker uh, icon is got a slash mark through it. OK, and so now if I've got verses showing and I select this, that video automatically comes up in the background. OK, it automatically comes up in the background. It doesn't remove your slides or anything like that. And this is just a very important feature and it's very cool for us to have access to do this and now if I wanted to clear this all out I can click on that it'll remove that that default and it'll still keep the default um, as a background but if I right click on it and I go to edit I can change the type and make it be a foreground image and what that means is is if you have a slide showing and you go to that media that you've made a foreground with the little icon on it there you select it it'll clear out your slide and it'll allow the video to play on its own. Um, you know, it'll clear out everything and play the video straight through uh, without there being anything on top of it. Um, and so that's pretty cool uh, when it comes to how this works. Now, what I have not done is I've not tested this out with overlay. So let's try, let's see what it does with an overlay. Same feature. And I'll put in this logo in the upper corner. So there's a logo there. And I'm going to select my media again and go to my drafts and I've got it set to where it is a foreground video with an overlay there. When I select it, the overlay does not go away. So you will still keep your overlay. So your, your church logo, your ministry logo, whatever it is that you've got as your overlay, lower thirds and all those kind of things. Those will remain and you will have to manually remove those by clearing out the logo or going into your overlays and selecting it to make it uh be uh, removed that way but this feature the foreground only removes the slide layer all right any slide so whether it's a presentation with words on it whether it's lyrics with words on it uh, anything that's in that slide layer that you can edit so anything that's in this on the slide here it will be removed so you can put pictures in there if you wanted to you can have logos in there if you wanted to but if it's on this slide layer it will be removed when you have media that is selected as foreground and this works the same way with pictures right you can select pictures the same way when you go into it and you right click and you select edit on a picture you'll see the same option it says type and you can make it a foreground or background or the default all right and so that's how the foreground videos work now the issue i had earlier with the uh mov videos let's see if i can duplicate that so this is a h265 so this is a HEVC or H265, which is a high efficiency video, which saves space, uh, which I recommend, but don't use an MOV. Um, so when I click on these, they play just fine from here. Where I ran into my problem was when I dragged them onto my show, uh, I experienced a lot of lag. So when I clicked on it, it would do the little spinning ball there. So this is where you would run into an issue with MOV files. Um, they're not recommended for free show. So if I go back to this and I remove it, and let's say I wanted to put in a H.265 MP4 file instead, I'll drag that on and we got a show here. I'll go to here to clear that out. So you see that's there when I go to, let's clear this out and I'll go to the MP4 file, no lagging, no beach ball, no spinning no delay, and I can go ahead and play it without a problem. All right, so MP4 files, they work great. If you want to save space, make them H.265 files or HEVC files. And then uh, when it comes to the foreground, 
and background. You can select that now for your images and videos and they'll interact with your presentation differently. The background videos, they'll just play in the background like they always have to where they'll just play behind any slides you have, behind any overlays you have, and you will have to clear out those slides and overlays if you want them to be in the foreground. However, you can right click on any video or image and select it to be a type for foreground and what that'll do is it'll do, it'll clear out any slide data that you have or the slide layer that looks like that. It'll clear anything that's on the slide out. It'll keep the overlays there, but it'll allow you to play your video without there being any text from a slide above it. All right. So let me know how you plan to use this. Do you run into that being a problem for you playing videos? Have you had to compensate for doing that? Or is that your preference the way it used to be with it in the background? For me, I know that I prefer for my videos to be in the foreground um, because I don't play a lot of videos uh, unless I want them to be in the foreground. Now, the only time that I would not want that to happen is when I'm doing some type of video backdrop, like a generic abstract uh, video. So if I go to these files here, I've got some video backdrops. And I've got a new toolkit out that has some of these, that has all these video backdrops in it. So if I were to go to my scriptures and let's clear out the background, we'll go to a scripture and you want to have, uh, let's see, some video. So these are videos here. So I like this Sandy Brown. So if you want to have a video plan, now if you notice it's got some motion to it, this subtle in the background. Those make sense to never be foreground, right? So those kind of videos are the only ones I would recommend that you would probably need to make sure stay in the background, but it'll do that by default. So you don't have to worry about that. However, when you got videos that have images and people and things like that, like from a movie clip or a video that you want to show, uh, like as a, a, a promo video for an upcoming event or something along those lines, then you want to make sure that that video, when you right click it, not this one, but you, when you right click, it, you want to go to that type and, so, and change the default from uh, or the type from default to foreground and it'll make sure that that video is going to play in the foreground and clear out any slide information all right but it doesn't change your background videos that you have uh, you will see it and you'll know that that video will do that when you select it and you'll see the little black icon over it and you can remove it real time if you wanted to by just simply clicking it and making it go away but that would be your way of knowing that that particular video is designed to be in the foreground. All right, so I'll make that be a foreground again. When I go back to my show and select, you'll see that little icon there next to it showing you that, hey, this is gonna remove your slides, all right? Hopefully this video helps you understand some of the new features of free show with the foreground and background option, but also uh, give you some insight as to what are the best video file types to use and if you want to uh, get some of those backdrops that I'm using, that I use. Uh, feel free to go to my website and get them uh, on my products page.